Alright Techies, this is episode 6 of the Java Discord Bot Tutorial series and today we're going to be working with buttons. So I just want to show you what we're going to be do doing in this episode. So we're go I'm going to make it so I'm going to make a command that creates an embed that just says do you like pizza and then we have two buttons, one that says yes, you click it and it replies with nice, so do I, and one that says no, and it says what monster. So. This is obviously, it's quite simple, um, mainly obviously today we're going to be mainly focusing on the button part of things, so I'm just going to stop this bot and get rid of the code I wrote to demonstrate it. So you're going to want to start off with just, uh, you're going to want to set up command, that uh, you're going to set up a slash command, register it in the command manager or however you add your commands. And I've just got a simple embed setup that, that has, just has a title and description saying, uh, do you like pizza? So, to actually make the buttons, we have to start off with making, what well, create a button. And I'm going to this yes button. And this is going to be equal to button.create. Actually, we need to make sure we import the correct button. We want to make sure we get button, the interface from uh, the JDA library. Call this yes button equals button button dot and we're going to do dot danger um, and so here we can do we need to give it an ID so I'm going to call this yes button so you not don't want any caps here and you don't want any spaces so I'm going to call it I'm going to give it an ID of yes button and then we need to give it text so it can either be emoji or a string. So I'm going to do uh, it just yes, and then we need to do the same for our no button. So we can have our no button, and we need to give it an ID. It's going to be our no button. And so now we need to actually to actually add this. When we reply to the event, normally we do event dot reply, and then we put in a string or reply embeds because we're doing an embed. That's not what we're going to do. We're actually going to create a message object and then we're going to reply with that, with that message. So we're going to have message, make sure you implement it from JDA, message equals uh, a new message builder. And so here there's a lot of options we can do. So you can see we've got anything that essentially can be to do, is to do with messages. So I'm going to do, I'm going to first set embeds. I'm going to do builder.build. I guess we could actually call that embed builder. Um, and so that is, so that's going to make, the, have the message have an embed. Then obviously at the end we would do dot build. And in between we can put in anything we want. So we could add text, we could add buttons, is what we're going to do now. So we could do dot set action rows. So an action row is essentially a row of buttons. So th this would be one row. If we had another row of buttons, that could be another. I believe you can only have up to five action rows. So what we can do is we can do action row dot of action row dot of, and this is going to take in one of the first button and then the second button. Now, obviously, if you wanted them to be on separate rows, you could do have yes button and then in the set action rows. We can just have another action row dot of no button, but I'm going to have them on the same row as that just looks nicer. But obviously, if you want different, you know, rows of different categories or whatever, you can do that. And so that is going to make our message. So we can do now we can do event dot reply, and this can is just going to take in a message. And obviously, we need to queue this so. If I were to run this now, we should see that our command, when we when we execute it, should give us an embed every slash button, should give us an embed with some buttons on it. And so, but if we oh, if they both say yes because I forgot to change this bit. Uh, but if I were to click them, you'll see they just do this and nothing. This interaction failed. This is because the clicking the button is also an interaction like the slash command and if we don't reply to an interaction the interaction fails we haven't because we need to interactions need to be replied to so 
it's just this is the sort of same thing as would happen if we did a slash command and we didn't apply to it it would not like it because we haven't applied so to do that we're going to go into our listener class and we're going to have do the on button interaction event and so in here we can obviously just like we do with the slash command we can do if event dot get button dot get id i'm going to do dot equals and then we're going to put in here the button id so we can start off with yes button so we can do yes yes button and then this is what we're going to execute if it is yes button so i'm just going to do event dot reply with nice so do and obviously this needs to be queued now we can also do we can do an else if don't want to do an else because you might have other buttons as well event dot get button dot get id dot equals no button oh that is not the right bracket and we can do event dot reply what you and so now when we click these buttons it should execute this what we want here so if i rerun we should see that we can do slash button and it's going to give us this we've got a yes and a no we can hit yes nice so do i and we can also hit no to what you monster now if we want what if we want once this executes we can also have it so that it does that we can do event dot get message so the message is going to be the one that the buttons is attached attached to not the original slash command although that does get deleted when just slash command dot get message and we can just do delete and this we're going to queue so if we rerun this what will happen is the button it gets pressed and the message gets replaced so we can do dot slash button gives you this yes deletes the message nice so do i and that is pretty much all you need to know about buttons buttons are quite a simple uh thing uh you just have you just create a button and then you add it as, a, as an action row so that is pretty much all we we're going to do today or oh, sorry for such a short episode but it's just a very simple topic so next time we'll probably be doing modals, so hopefully I'll catch you then.